Hello and welcome to the video. Tom's video is going to be on when temptation comes our way. When temptation comes our way here on the February 26th day of 2024. What happens when temptation comes our way? When we have an urge to buy something that's secular, that's not of God. What we do is we ask God if it's right or if it's wrong. And you know what? With God's power, with God's wisdom, with God's guidance, with God being the ultimate counselor, God will tell us whether it be us being awake or asleep. God will tell us whether it's right or wrong. And a lot of us don't like hearing it. Like let's say if somebody's going off cigarettes and God told that person to get off cigarettes 10 years ago, that person didn't listen. And after 15 years, and then when 15 years went by, they didn't listen. And when 20 years went by, he eventually listened, even though it took him 20 years to listen. We need to listen to God, because God is above the rest. A lot of times in life, we don't listen to God, whether it be the wrong music, the wrong movies, the wrong this, the wrong that. It says that in times, people will be lovers of themselves, you know. And that is the scripture, and I think we see that now in today's society. I stand correct. I know we see that in today's society. The bad news is people fall that way. And God does not want us to fall that way. God wants us to help each other out. What I'm saying is, if God tells you in your sleep to get off cigarettes, and you've been on cigarettes for 15 years, you get it off before you get lung cancer. And cigarettes do kill people faster. You know what I mean? It doesn't help. It doesn't make you healthy. It doesn't make you feel good. It makes you... It makes you also in worse shape, it makes you hack worse, and stuff like that, you know. And just like the more suck albums you buy, whether you're a Christian or not, you know, you're going to feel, especially if you follow God, more ornery, especially if the lyrics are on, you know, sex, drugs, money, violence. That's why when you follow God, His holiness, His care, His devotion. A lot of us fall prey to that. We need to follow the straight and the narrow. A lot of people say, ah, I'm not into any of that Jesus stuff. But a lot of Christians out there, sadly, are not into that area because they do not want to give up their, uh, their, their desires, you know. And that's what a lot of Christians nowadays struggle with, is following their, following their desires. Their desires are not good. Some Christians, the desires following God is good. Studying the Bible is good. When it comes to their desires, whether it be music or movies, and if it's not of God, if it's definitely far away from God, God does not want you to listen to that. And you can say, well, I, God never told me that. But then again, you could be tricked by the devil. Hope everybody's having a good day. Jesus came, Satan, well, he's a loser. Praise God. Blessings follow the Father. Son, the Holy Spirit, take care and God bless. Bye.